we thought a hundred people before us would have tried it. We just thought it was such a silly idea and the accents were terrible. We, not for a second did we expect to even speak to Kate, let alone have a conversation with anyone at the hospital. We wanted to be hung up on. We didn't think, and I don't think anyone would have thought, that it would have had the outcome, you know, the, the, the tragic outcome. The, the, the set of circumstances could never be predicted by anyone, I don't think. You know, and, and, it, and, it, and it, at every single point it was innocent on our behalf and it was just something that was fun and, and, and light-hearted and a tragic turn of events that I don't think anyone could have ever have predicted or expected. We, we both found out, found out about the same time and I think it was Worst phone call I've ever had in my life. It was early Saturday morning. Well, well, when we were top. You know, it's still. It's not anything that anyone could have ever imagined was going to happen. Gutted, heartbroken, and obviously, you know, our, our deepest sympathies are with the family and the friends of all those affected. And, you know, obviously, Mel and myself are incredibly sorry for the situation and, 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 and what's happened. And, and, you know, we hope that they're doing okay and they're getting the love and support that they deserve and need right now. But, I mean, personally, I'm... goes by that we don't think about her family and what they must be going through and the thought that we may have played a part in that is garbage. Why there's a process in place for us to record that and for the team to work out what to do with it next. We did everything that we normally do when we make those prank calls. And then that was taken out of our hands. It wasn't a competition to get a scoop, it wasn't to, to have something that no one else had. You know, other people were trying other ways to get whatever they wanted from the situation and ours was the most innocent thing that we'd come up with. It wasn't meant to go that far. We didn't expect them to put us through. When you heard the dreadful results following the days after the prank, describe to me how it impacted on you. Can you remember the words? Can you remember physically how you felt, Mel? Um, unfortunately, I remember that moment very well because I haven't stopped thinking about it since it happened. And I remember my first question was, was she a mother? When you found out that she was of two children, how did... I'm very sorry and saddened for the family. And I can't imagine what they'd be going through. And what about you, Michael? <sighs> God, I'm <clears throat> gutted, you know, shattered. Heartbroken. Does it even feel real to you what's happened? I mean, uh, we're still trying to get our heads around everything, you know, trying to make sense of, of the situation. It doesn't seem real because you just couldn't foresee something like that happening from a prank call. You know, it was never meant to, to go that far. It was meant to be a silly little prank that so many people have done before. It, this wasn't meant to happen. In hindsight, and anyone can say that now, in hindsight, would you do something like that again? I, I, I don't... I don't think that anyone could have predicted, you know... That outcome. ..what could have happened. There was the, It was just a, you know, a, a tragic set of circumstances that I, I don't think anyone could have thought that, 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 you know, we'd be here. Who came up with the idea of the prank? Who, who came up with the idea? It was, it was just, you know, in a team meeting before the show. So it wasn't one of either of you individually? Was Everything's it? done as a team. It's as a team. Yeah. yeah. Did you have ad advice, uh, legal advice, or pro senior producers nursing you through this? Well, I mean, the call to begin with wasn't about speaking to Kate. It wasn't about 
you're trying to get a scoop or anything. I mean, the call was just... I mean, we, we assumed that we'd be, we'd be hung up on and, and, and that'd be that. When you weren't hung up on, and you could even hear the... And let's be honest, you thought it was a, a coup at the time, Mel, and were you kind of sh shocked that you even got to that far to talk to the nurse beside Princess Absolutely, Kate. and the, the accents were terrible. You know, it was designed to be stupid. We were never meant to, to get that far from the, the little corgis barking in the background. We obviously want it to, to be a joke. And I suppose, you know, the joke was always on us, not anyone else. It wasn't about trying to fool someone. I mean, we mm. just assumed that with, with the voices that we put on, you know, we were, we were going to get told off, and, and, and that was the gag in us. Here at the station at Osterio, do you get any coaching, any training at all as to what you're allowed to put to air, what, what, what you've got to tell people they're being recorded and they're going to be put on air? Have you been taught that during your tenure here? This, this phone call is the same with, with any phone call, with any pre-recorded segment that goes to air. You know, there are, there, there's processes in place and, and, and people that make those decisions. I mean, our role is just... But have you been taught that? Have you been taught that sat down in a legal class? The way we, we there are get... people that make those decisions for us. Our responsibility is just to... So did someone listen to the call, that recording, and, and yeah. say... Well, it went through the process as every other recorded bit that we do, from interviews to, you know, to anything. It all gets recorded and passed on to the appropriate mm -hmm. people, goes through the process, and we're told whether it's yes or no to play. What was it, if you're going to give me a rough, and it probably feels all blurred to you, but a time span from when you did that call to putting it to air? Was it two hours, three oh, hours? I don't even know. I can't. In between all of that, though, it wasn't as though we were sitting around waiting for an answer. You know, there was... We go about our work and just keep going. Keep going. Getting, getting other things organised. But you were pretty giddy with what you'd pulled off, weren't you? We couldn't believe that it had worked, absolutely. You didn't expect it to. We thought 100 people before us would have tried the same thing. We just did not see that actually working. But it wasn't... It wasn't you know, to, to get something that no-one else had. It wasn't about getting... But you are aware you were trying to get medical a medical condition that, and medical condition condition a royal that but we didn't actually want that we what just wanted to we wanted to be hung up on we wanted to be hung up on with our silly voices and play a 20 second segment to air of us doing stupid voices you didn't think of identifying yourselves at the end of that call that's the that's where the process comes in we just record everything and pass it to the team that's and what we do you know and, and again the call itself is is there's no malice in the call. There was no digging. There was no trying to upset or, or, or get a reaction, you know, and, and... Do you feel now, though, that you're part of a witch hunt, that someone wants someone to pay here? Look, I mean, there, there's, a, there's hackers here threatening to shut down the station and hack into the whole system if you guys aren't no. sacked. How do, does that make right, you feel right. vulnerable? There is nothing that can make me feel worse than what I feel right now and for what I feel for the family. We are so sorry that this has happened to them. <laughs> Where, no. how, how do you move on? Or is someone caring for you guys? Are you having counselling too? We're getting the support that we need, and you know we've got we've got those around us that are that are helping us. But you know, right now, yeah. I care more about the family. I want to know that they've got the support that they need, and that the public are, you know. <sighs> being respectful of their privacy. Have you tried to contact the family in any way? I don't think it's an appropriate time to do that yet, but this is where we want to say that we are thinking of you and if we could call you, we would want to reach out to you, but... Well, if you could turn the clock back. If we played any involvement in, in her death, then we're very sorry for that, and time will only tell. Have you been reading a lot, Mel? I've been advised not to, but I'm doing it on the intention of finding out more about Jacintha. Right. What lessons can other DJs and worldwide learn from your horrible experience? <laughs> Prank calls have, you know, they've been around for as long as radios existed, and and it's they're done by. But every this radio result station. is just horrific. No one, no one could have predicted this result. How do you? What are you guys going to do then? Are you going to pursue your DJ careers? I mean, I don't even want to think about that right now. There's bigger yeah. pressing issues, and that's making sure that family gets through this tough time. You know, our careers aren't important at the moment. That Scotland Yard is now involved and you may be called to an inquest and the inquest will probably be in London and you'll see the family face to face. Are you prepared for that? Right now, you the know. The weight of that? Right now, we're trying to wrap our heads around what's happened.
if that's going to make them feel better, then I'll do what I need to do, absolutely. If that's something that they want to do to get some closure, then I will do that. Mm -hmm. You have had a lot of support. There's a poll out today of 1,100 people, uh, 11,000 actually, and they've said two-thirds of them that they feel you're not to blame for this horrible result. And then you've got the other side of horrible Twitter saying, um, many lives ruined, shame on you, you've got blood on your hands. How do you balance that, the support and absolute hostility? I think, you know, what's important right now is, is you know, that I, the family of Jacintha are getting the support and the love that they deserve. and. I mean that's 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 what's important here you know it was it's nothing more than a tragic turn of events that, that no one could have predicted and you know for the part that we played where we're obviously where we're incredibly sorry and you know I feel in you Mel that you're just all but frozen is that correct I'm just so devastated for them. I'm really feeling for them. It's a shocking turn of events. I just couldn't... If we had any idea that something like this could be even possible to happen, you know, we couldn't see this happening. No, it was meant to be a prank call. Do you feel sick now that you were saying this is a highlight of my career and you were excited about getting the call through to get to this moment? We couldn't foresee what was going to happen in the future. When you did call them, though, and you're talking first to the Jacintha and then the second nurse, did you think in the days after it, oh, those poor nurses wonder how they're feeling? Did you think for them at all, or were you just in that giddy sense? The call itself was was not malicious and no harm was intended on, on Jacintha or the other nurse or Kate or Prince William or, or anyone. It wasn't, it wasn't from start to finish there was no harm intended and obviously you know we're incredibly sorry for the harm that we right. may have helped contribute and you've been very brave talking and i just hope people are caring for you guys too because it's going to take a feel for two djs you like to put a few smiles on faces it'll be a while before we hear the two of you laugh thank you okay